what is up everyone welcome back to my channel so today is really really different what we're talking about because it's something that we never really talk to you guys about i don't know how this video is going to go but a lot of you would ask questions in my videos or on my social media if you saw something with my mom you said what's wrong with her hands or you know is she okay out of concern and the answer to that is that my mom has arthritis rheumatoid arthritis yeah rheumatoid arthritis but like a very very severe very severe very very severe form of it um she is where have you gotten your surgeries uh, knees knee replacement elbow, elbow hip hip surgery and fusion of some joints in the feet <laughs> basically we have this joke that my mom's a robot um, every time we fly anywhere and we're going through security check, she beeps like crazy. But yeah, I just felt like this is something to talk about because a lot of people have always asked these type of questions and um, I thought why not start from the beginning. So you got arthritis when? 84. So you got married in 83 and then you got arthritis in 84. Uh, basically at the end of 83. Yeah. My mother passed away then I had it. So when my grandmother passed away, um none of the siblings ever had arthritis except her and she actually had arthritis so that happened and then you got married yes um and then after a couple of months from that your arthritis was uh, i got married in 83 and uh, my mother passed away and then i had it yeah actually i will tell you how it started i had a pain in my finger and swelling i thought it will go away but it didn't go for a week or so then i went to the doctor and doctor told me to get the blood test done then doctor told me i have arthritis rheumatoid arthritis yeah yes and um at that time when you and dad got married uh the family was very supportive of course of everything that was happening your but dad was very supportive yeah there were some people who told my dad that he should remarry and that was the mentality of it back then and my dad of course didn't and um he was very sporty, sportive yeah. and he helped me to like i was unable to sometimes i was unable to comb my hair he helped me and all that and he was very sporty overall i will say then we moved to canada and uh, it's a beautiful country and medical is very good here then my arthritis was under control for a few years then it's up and up and down. Sometimes surgery. I had surgeries. Overall, it's under control. But with the age factor and other, I'm taking a lot of medicine. What so age, I, mom? You're like 31. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so overall, I'm doing okay. Kudra. Yeah, but with all my family support. You give me a lot of happiness. Then I forget about <laughs> my arthritis. But basically, when I was um a little kid and I would go on school field trips a lot of times I would have other kids say to me that why can't your mom come all the because you were there were some parents that used to go a lot because I was not able to walk for a yeah so when I went to Wonderland which is an amusement park my mom didn't come much with us uh, with me um, I would go with family friends because she couldn't walk a lot when did you stop picking me up when you were six really you stopped well, yes. of course, I'm six. I'm bigger by then. You can't really pick me up. No, but, but I still feel bad, you know, because I can't lift you or hold you. <laughs> I still want to hold you and lift you. Hey, yeah, you can't. No, My no, mom no. is no. extremely, her bones are very, very sensitive. Even if you just, you know, do this, it hurts her in a different way. Um, she has, she goes through a lot of arthritis attacks that happen. Yes. And sometimes they're just so severe that... Yeah, the side effects of medicines. Yeah. Nausea, vomiting. Yeah. Headache. So it's almost like, I, I would say like pretty much in a week, how many times do you not feel well? For a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of days. A couple of days. And it's, it's scary because my mom uh, about two years ago, I'm laughing because if... Sometimes you got to find something to laugh about in these situations. I don't know what, but my mom was outside and she was walking with my dad and my dog was there 
And my dad, whenever you say, let's go to my dog Bentley, he gets so hyper and he just turns around and starts gutting towards the door. And my mom was standing really close and my dad said, let's go and Bentley just turned like this. And my mom swung underneath and she fell on the ground. My dad calls me, I was out, he calls me, he goes, you need to come home. Uh, your mom got really hurt, she's on the ground. I came ru rushing over and I remember hearing my mom scream outside. You were screaming. Yes, oh because my. I broke my hip. Yeah. Your son killed me almost. <laughs> my son killed you? Yes. <sighs> this is a conversation. I will blame have. you for that. <laughs> you have to train him better. But um, yeah, so my mom was screaming and the ambulance came and my dad was giving me this look like he's like, did you know that Papa, when you were going into ambulance. the ambulance, Papa just looked at me and he goes, Ni oh, I don't know that. Yeah, he's like, Ni Did he say that? Yeah. And that was, that was, uh, that was emotional as hell. And I usually, it's crazy because with around other people, when they tell their stories, I get emotional, but when it's my own family, I harden up, I toughen up, I don't know, I swallow my feelings, I don't know why I do that, but it's just, it's something that I just revert back to, and I was like, no, everything's gonna be fine, I just kept saying that in my head, we went to the hospital, oh, the worst thing was when the ambulance, they were trying to pick her up to put her into the car, I had, oh, that, that was horrible, so yeah, so my mom went through surgery there, and she was at the hospital, and I would always come visit, and you know she got her surgery done and while you were recovering you said some things to me <sighs> things that like my dad would have to kick me out of the room because mom was just in so much pain she was like i'm ready to go that like the pain is very 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 hard to handle and then literally i kid you not a year later around the same time yes we went to india and we went to Amritsar. Hold on, can I say this? I had, okay, we were in Amritsar, we were, went with World Vision, we went to Freedgot to work around with girls in schools and getting them educated. And my mom really wanted to go uh, to the Golden Temple in the morning because there is this procession that happens in the morning. And I told her don't go. And the only reason I told her not to go is I had a vibe for some reason that Something's going to go wrong. I just told her not to go. But she's like, no, no, everything's fine. I want to go. I'm going to be in God's home. And she went. She took my dad with her at night. And I was sleeping in the hotel. And I didn't know they had left. I was hoping they weren't going to go. And they left. And so. so before entering, we have to wash you know, wash our feet. So I was, I was washing my feet. I just put my feet on the uh, water and I slipped back like this. My dad comes knocking in on my door in the morning. He comes in and mom is like on, in, a wheelchair. on a wheelchair, not in good shape. And I was like, what happened? And he's like, mom, Girgi. And then it was so emotional because I don't know what my dad and especially my mom went through that night because dad was running around trying to find help but obviously there's other people who cannot touch my mom because they don't know how brittle my mom's bones are they're trying to help but it's not really helping mm -hmm. and then there was no wheelchair yeah, he tried to call the ambulance, ambulance. And they said how long it will take an hour or so to and so he's running around trying to find a wheelchair yes and i, I can't imagine dad running around trying to find a wheelchair that must have been it so was, yeah. eventually when they came back to the hotel um dad broke down he got really emotional i remember that and then all of a sudden you were like no no i think i'm fine i think i'm fine and she got up she was okay we thought okay maybe but everything's okay no it wasn't because that same day we were flying back from amritsar to, Dil to, delhi. to delhi and you were in so much pain on the plane and then they got a surgery done for mom mm -hmm. the next day right no not surgery not surgery they had actually they had oh, they, they said we Sorry. Are, I have a crack on my lower back. Yeah. And I have to rest for six weeks. You can go to Canada for six weeks. I and thought... you can't move from the first they told me to get the surgery done. I said no. I did a very smart thing though. Yes. 
I told my cousin, who, because that day me and my dad had to go to Agra because we were shooting at the Taj Mahal, so we couldn't cancel that shoot. Luckily, we had all of mom's family there and they were taking care of her. My cousin took her to the hospital for the x-rays and I told her, send me a photo of those x-rays. So what I did was my mom's actual surgeon here, I called him, I messaged him the pictures and he was like, do not let them touch her. Do not let them touch her. She shouldn't listen to them. She will be able she to come back. Heal. She will heal after like you healed uh, after two months. Yes, after, two months. After two months. And then because she would there do the no surgery. need for back surgery. Yeah. Oh my god, guys! I my dad was like, I don't think mom's ever coming back. <laughs> Literally every time. So we've had many moments in our life where we get really scared with your health. That I'm not going to survive. I've and been being told this since I was. I a had kid. a fear that I'm going to, not going to attend your wedding. So I always pray. It always goes back to the wedding, God. guys. <laughs> you know? God give me health or umar so I can attend your wedding. <laughs> She's going to need a lot of years for that. <laughs> so my mom has gone through a lot and every day is a struggle. Um, you know, there's a reason why a lot of people say, why doesn't your mom come out? Or they ask my dad, why isn't your wife here? And the reason is right here it's because of her health she can't really come out she doesn't want to she if she's in pain she just wants to be at home obviously in her own comfort and that is something that you guys never knew about my family and I thought that would be very interesting for you to share because a lot of people don't talk about health issues within our community especially and I, I was so scared to ask her to do this video because I was really nervous. I was like, you know, she's not going to want to do it because she, of other people. But I will be honest, the family life, there's a reason why I love to stay at home or be with my mom and dad. I always believe that spend time with your parents as much as you can. That has yes, always been I'm a priority for me. I'm very blessed in that way. And seeing my mom's health has always been something that scares me. And at one point during my life, I would harden up. I wouldn't show my emotions. I never really asked her how she's doing. I just, I didn't know how to handle it. So I used to just, I'd spend time, but I wouldn't ask how she's doing because I didn't want to hear it. And then sometimes I would see her putting in her injections or doing something and it's stuff that triggers me. It gets to me because I just don't want to see my mom in pain. I'm trying not to cry. But yeah, that's what's been going on throughout all these years yes and you just never know you i always say you never know when it comes to parents or your family like always spend time with them anything can happen i'm very lucky that mom is still good um i'm just looking at your feet right now <laughs> her it's i don't even know how to explain i don't even know how you walk i don't know how she walks <laughs> But yeah, mom, I, I, <sighs> overall my health is un under control, I would say, and I'm very blessed. And you know what's crazy, guys? Her saying her health is under control doesn't mean she's okay. Her health is under control, meaning she has the medical facilities to take care of her. It's not that she's okay. <laughs> That's what she's saying. Um, Kuru, when you have a supportive family, friends and all that, yeah, then the pain is less, basically. But there are times where you can't even do anything. There, I remember your arthritis mm -hmm. attacks, putting her in a wheelchair, not being able to go to the washroom properly. Yes, not to get it from the toilet. Yeah. There's this one major thing that I've heard my mom say um, because of her health. I there... don't want to live anymore. Because I'm in a lot of pain and I'm giving a lot of pain to my family. Oh my god, mom! You can't think like that! <sighs> I reflect to smiling. That's how, that's the only way I know. Mom, you can't, you can't think like that. Oh my god, I didn't know I was gonna get emotional. Like, I'm... Uh, yeah, no, it's... I, I've even told mom, I remember there was a time you were thinking very negative and I said to you, I was like, you know, you have to push forward for us. We're very lucky and blessed that we have the ability and opportunity to be able to go to the hospitals to get all of this corrected. And we have to learn to look at the more positive things mm -hmm. than focusing on the negative. And we're very, very lucky that we have, we're blessed that we're yeah, able to do these things. We still want to fight. Yeah. But I remember there was this one week where you just, 
Every night I check on my mom. Every night. Is she alive? I am so. <laughs> I have to check on her every night. It's just so. It freaks me out. Mom, you can't think like that. No, jaldi nahi jaunga. Ki alle board dance lata nu. Alle board dance lata nu. I had that joke. Hold on. I alle every kya na na ki ethi kar. Kor kaiga fir. Funny. Um, I said to my mom when she was like, "I want to leave." I remember I said to her, "I go, you can't." I'm like, "You still have to annoy me for the rest of my life. You're not going to leave me so soon." So, no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Let's do a quick explanation of what arthritis actually is. Basically, it attacks to the joints and your immune system works reverse. Hmm. Yeah. And then you have the inflammation in the body, stiffness in the body especially when we wake up. Oh, when she wakes up. Because it takes me 5 or 10 minutes to normalize. Or when, even when you get out of the car. Yes. So basically it attacks the joints and when you take the medicine then then you have other side effects. So she has it basically everywhere. And also sometimes um, because I got arthritis because the arthritis then I had a thyroid Yeah. Because so people say when you have arthritis, you have a thyroid too. And so my mom started taking medication a long time. Well, that's why like even with me when I get a headache or anything, I avoid taking any meds because she always says don't rely on don't rely on medicines. On so many medicines. So I try myself to not Of course, mm-hmm. if it's severe form, you have to take medication. That makes sense. But for headaches or the tiny things, no, I don't I don't do that. Yeah. The reason why I really wanted to do this video with mom especially is because I feel like a lot of people look at things from the outside and they say, "Oh, this person is all put together. They have a wonderful life. They have so and so and so and so." And people always judge from what they see. They don't really look into what is actually happening. Uh it's been throughout my whole life it's been very scary for me um just knowing about mom's mom's health. but with mom it's like a lifelong journey and it's a lifelong process and things get worse and worse and worse and i there's one thing that my mom i remember she would say i want to dress up i want to do so and so i want to do this and she goes but meri bimari ne mainu maar deta hai yeah yeah so because some something you tell me why don't you dress up i want her to dress up she doesn't have to do that i'll dress her up that's my point but you just You know, yeah. mom, I don't I But pre- I feel good when you dress me up. <laughs> I I I think my not think. I know my mom is pretty and I know you look good in the clothes you wear and you go out. Mom, there's a reason why whenever she dresses up and dad smiles, I see that smile, okay? <laughs> I get jealous but I see that smile. So, yeah, I mean, mom, I don't want you to ever think that bimari ne maar deta. You know? I know it's hard but I don't want you to think like that. Look at you. You look like you look like an angel. Look at your sleeves. Show your sleeves for a second. Show. Show. Look at that. Angel like. Angel, she's an angel. So thank you for making me angel good girl. I'm very I'm very lucky. She's a very good daughter. Oh, thanks. I'm very lucky that we're able to take care of each other and I wanted to do this video because I wanted if any of you kids are watching or even if any of the parents are watching um you never know about time you don't know about we don't know how life is and you have to spend those moments with your family and be with your family because memories memories are what gets you through life yes i know people have gone through such tough loss it's not easy it's not easy i personally cannot imagine because i know how i get when I'm told that you're not going to make it. I know what happens to me. I I know how I feel. I cry insanely. So just hold on to those people. Tell them you love them. Tell them that you're there for them and just spend time with them. That's what you can do. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. I love you three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching and Thank you guys for listening to what we had to say and I cannot wait to be releasing more content for you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> guys, <laughs> my mom is <laughs> By the way, my mom is that mom 
she comes into my room <laughs> and I'll feel chitte of pani, which is amrit. So she does that. And also, um, uh, whenever I ask for a glass of water, she fills it half up because she's filled the other half up with prayers. I'm like, where's the rest of my water? <laughs> Guys, that's how lucky I am. Yeah, you get blessings, school girl.